Good morning, this is Keisha Spivey and I'm bringing you your Friday fire. Hope you're having an amazing morning. Today I want to challenge you about your edge. Proverbs 27, 17 says, iron sharpens iron. And I want you to take a, a mental image right now and look at the corner of your knife. Look at the blade of your life. Is it sharp? Are you going it through life? Are you navigating through situations with a precise, with a precise edged cut that you know your blade is sharp, your mind is sharp, your heart is sharp, your life is sharp, and you are truly, truly being used as an instrument by God to do the things that he has called you to do. You know, when I was a little girl, my dad used to fish and hunt, and I can remember him sitting out in the yard, taking his knife, and rubbing it up against this big metal block. And I remember him explaining to me what he was doing and why he was sharpening his knife. So today I thought about that. I said, you know, who is sharpening my knife? You know, who in my life has walked further than I've walked, learned more than I've learned, and helping to sharpen me so that I can be a better version of me. I can be more like Christ. I can be a better woman, a better wife, a better mother. So then I also thought about those people in my life who sharpened me. I started thinking about the people who I am bringing along that God is allowing me to invest in and to teach. And even in their development, they're sharpening me because they're keeping me on my toes. They're asking me great questions. They're making sure I remember what it was like to first come to a relationship with Jesus Christ and not be so comfortable in my knowing. We assume everybody knows and they don't. So I have people who are stretching me one way and they're pulling me toward purpose and destiny. I have another people that are sharpening and stretching me in the other direction, keeping me humble, keeping me grounded, keeping me focused. And I have all these people that are part of my life. They're part of my tribe. They hold me accountable. They keep me moving. They prevent me from getting stuck. So if right now you're unhappy, you're unfulfilled, you're not satisfied, you're feeling stuck, you need to get sharp. You need to get sharpened. You need to start rubbing up against some people that bring out the best in you. You need to start rubbing up against some people who make you want to be better, who make you want to grow, who make you want to up your game. You need to start rubbing up against some people that are literally challenging your thinking and charging you to do and to discover new things and to get up out your comfort zone. One of the things that grieves my heart is seeing people who are doing nothing. They're not learning. They're not growing. I'm taking a class and it's really, really talking about discipleship and the way Jesus, his approach to discipleship versus the way the Old Testament church did it then, how that shifted in the New Testament church. And it's comparing it to what we call ourselves doing now. And as he trained his disciples, he took a with them approach. He was with them. They were with him. They did life together. They grew together. They learned together. And then he challenged his disciples to apply what he had taught them, what he had seen him do. Then after he left, they were, they were wielded with the responsibility to keep doing and to bring people with them so that they can point them to him. It's this cycle. And we never get to the place where we're not learning. We're not growing. We're not developing. We're not stretching. So if you're sitting there comfortable and you're sitting there dull, get your knife out the box and do something. Start rubbing up against someone, something, uh, a class, a church, a uh, and outreach and activity start purposely taking you and rubbing up against something that'll literally bring out the best in you. You know, I think about the refining silver process. You know, they turn the heat up and they keep stirring it and they keep removing the dross until there's a reflection that looks back from the silver of the person who's making it. At the end of the day, when God looks in our lives, we should be reflecting him because he is making us. And he said in Proverbs 27, 17, iron sharpens iron as another man or woman sharpens another. So I want to tell you today, you want to look more like him? Start rubbing up against some people that bring him out of you. Start being refined. Start being sharpened. Start being intentional and strategic on what you're working on every day. I'm asking myself, what were some big wins for the day? But I'm also asking myself, what are some areas that I need to improve on? 
And then I'm starting the next day with a plan to rub up against something in some area to improve that thing so I can be sharp. That's my challenge to you. That's your Friday fire. Be sharp. Be sharp. Be precise. Be intentional. And do you to the max. God bless you. And have an amazing weekend.